this is going to be problem number one. Take a minute and read the, the problem, which is the large white block up in the upper left hand corner. Pause the video and come back when you're done. Now that you've read the problem, read the question, which is the small white box underneath the big white box. Pause the video and come back when you're done. Okay, so we have been asked how many bottles can the patient afford. First thing that we have to do is figure out what do we need to know to solve the problem. So out of what we read, what parts of that information are vital for us? The first thing, if we're trying to figure out how many bottles can the patient afford, we have to know how much the bottles cost. And the way we put that is how many dollars per bottle. But that just means how much does a bottle cost? How many dollars per bottle? The second bit of information we need to know is how much money the patient has. And to put that in a ratio, that's going to be dollars per patient. Now with just these bits of information, we can solve the problem. So we'll come down here. I'm going to work this out this way. I'm going to put how many bottles per patient, because that's what we're trying to find out. How many bottles can the patient afford? We know we'll put bottle over here. Go up here. What information do we have? We've got dollars per bottle. You know, one bottle is um, how much? It's $10. Means we're going to put dollars up here. What do we have up here with dollars? We already used this, but we have one with patient here. So if we, so we have uh, $42 per patient, and that's all we have to do. We can now strike this out, this out, multiply 42 times one bottle and come up with 42 bottles. Patient time 10. 42 bottles per 10 patients. We divide that out and we get 4.2 bottles. But you can't give someone 4.2 bottles. How many bottles can the patient afford? Our answer is going to be 4 bottles. If you have any questions, please feel free to come up and ask me.